Still no sign of the townspeople. Hey, you hear that, phony? The coast is clear! Uh, look at him. We got chased out of Boneville over two weeks ago, and he's still moping around. Oh well, I guess you can whine all you want when you're the richest guy in the whole town. <laughs> Oops, silly me. Ex richest. Don't get him started. They can't do this to me! You can't do anything to a rich person that he doesn't want! <gasps> oh, the horrible injustice of it all! I'm still reeling with Shark! I'm a respected community leader! A shining pillar of moral strength! So, a couple of shady business deals went sour. Is that any reason to run the most beloved bone in Boneville out on a rail? Yes. Beloved? The man declared a school holiday just so the kids could come and throw rocks at you. Ingrates? Oh, they'll rule the day they chased Fonsible P. Bone out of their crummy old town. <laughs> now, now, little buckaroo. Don't be sad. It's a beautiful day. There's not a cloud in the sky. Good point, Smiley. If we don't find Shade soon, I'm gonna have a stroke. Hey, I'm just trying to cheer him up, okay? Try thinking about something else besides your money. Take me, for example. I never had a penny in my life. But I'm not sad. I got no responsibilities. I'm free. Free as a bird. A bird? Ha! <laughs> More like a mangy straight dog who doesn't eat very often. Well, true, but you get my point. Hey, phone bone! Have you figured out where we are yet? What's taking so long? I'm working on it. Hmm, that's strange. That mountain range isn't on our charts. Hey! Let me see that! Here's your problem, Bone Bone! We're off the map! Get a bigger map! That's as big as the maps get. We're in uncharted territory. Well, get us back! I can't. We're lost. To boldly go where no bone has gone before! Stick a sock in it, Cabbage Head. Don't get me wrong, Phone Bone. I'm grateful you were able to get me out of town, but tell me. Why did you have to go and bring him with us? To torture you. I knew that! Hey, Phony, uh, bad news. Uh, we're out of water. That's the last straw! Don't you get mad at Smiley. This isn't his fault. That's right. The townspeople aren't mad at us. They ran you out of town because you're a selfish little greed bag. I can't believe it. Not only am I broke, now I'm gonna die broke. <coughs> oh, please, you're not gonna die. But I hope you learned your lesson. Water! I need water! I can feel my tongue cracking. Hey, cousins, look what I found! I think it's a map! Sure enough! Look, it's a map of that mountain range! I'm saved! Give it to me! Give me a dollar first! What? Go on, Phony, give him a dollar. What? We're in the middle of a desert. Give him a dollar. All right, all right. Hey! What is this? This looks like it was drawn by a five-year-old. This thing is worthless. It's worth a dollar. Let me go. I'm going to kill him. Cousins, heads up. We've got company. Oh, my gosh. It's a town's people. Quick, hide me. Shh. Hold on. Do you hear that? Smiley, what's that noise? Is it the town's people? Nope. No people, just locusts. Pretty neat, huh? Phony, <laughs> 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 are you okay? Whatever you do, don't stick out your top! I can't believe I wasn't just killed. Phony! Smiley! Don't come this way! It's a cliff! Maybe they're already down. Phony! Smiley! Hey, guys! I'm over here! Can you hear me? Phony! Hey, here's the map. I wonder if it's really a map of that mountain range. I better hang on to it. I might need it to save Phony. Again? I'm always getting him out of trouble. Well, cousin or not, when we get back to Boneville, 
Phony's gonna have to face the music by himself. From now on, he can outrun angry mobs and fall off cliffs without me. What does he take me for? It's always, Phone Bone save me or Phone Bone help me. Why I oughta. Hey, how'd I get so close to the mountains? Where is everybody? Where are the locusts? Did I climb up the wrong side? Phony, help! You gotta save me, oh my god, they're nowhere, Phony! <sighs> huh? A cigar butt? Another one? I hope Smiley doesn't run out of cigars before I catch up. Boy, am I glad to see you. Hold on, I've got a match in my bag. Ah! Thanks for the light. Don't mention it. Hello? Hello? Man, I've got to stop sleeping on an empty stomach. <laughs> huh? This map was just one of Smiley's pranks, and I fell for it. And to top it all off, I haven't found any more cigar butts all day. How do I get myself into these things? Oh well, I'll find them sooner or later if I don't die of thirst. Just gotta keep moving. Just gotta keep. Cool, I made it! That stupid map was right! There's gonna be water on the menu tonight! I can kiss Smiley for finding that map. I might even kiss Phony after I strangle him. And look at that, one of Smiley's cigar stubs. Hey, watch it! You almost stepped on me! Whoops, hello. What are you supposed to be? I'm Ted. I'm a bug. You look more like a leaf. A leaf? That's an insult. Where's my big brother? Hey, hold on. I didn't mean any harm. Besides, <sighs> what could your big brother do to me? Whoa! Pick it on, Ted. I I just said he looked like a leaf. What are you, troublemaker? We don't need your kind in our valley. Uh, I guess he didn't really mean any harm, big bro. You don't have to hit him. Listen to him! Listen to him! Okay, Ted. If you say so. I'm not trying to cause any trouble. I'm looking for my cousins. We got separated, and now I'm lost. You wouldn't know how to get to Boneville from here, would you? Boneville? Never heard of it. But you better find it, and fast. 
It's autumn right now, and winter strikes quick in these parts. And when it does, no one can get through those mountains in or out. So I suggest you make your visit here a short one, or you'll be stuck in for the winter. And I don't think you want to do that. No, definitely not. Good. I'll let you go for now since Ted seems to like you. And don't forget, no dilly-dallying. Thank you for not hitting me. Don't worry about him. He's actually a nice guy. But now we gotta figure out what to do with you. Ooh, I know. I'll take you to see Thorn. Come on. What's your name, mister? I'm Phonebone. He's Thorn. He's not another big bug, is he? Oh, no, 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 no. Thorn knows just about everything in the whole world. But listen, Bone. Big Bro was right about winter. It hits fast around here. And if you want to get home, you gotta do it before it snows. Don't worry. Once I find my cousins, I'm out of here. Where can I get something to drink? I'm dying of thirst. We can stop by Barrel Haven. They brew the best stuff around. Come on. Button behind this bush and get ready. Uh -huh. Well, you're low, small mammal. Could you step in here for a moment? I've got something to show you. Can't you show me out here where I've got running space? Uh, no, no. Please, step in here. Your friend the dragon isn't here, is he? Hey, Ted, where are you going? You are on your own, though. Ted, wait for me! Uh, well, well. Look who's joined us for supper. Ghost of the cooking file. Now, you called me fat. No! What do you mean, no? And it's not the first time you've done it, either. Comrade, be reasonable. I, I wasn't thinking. I was just trying to catch your dinner. This isn't the time. Hm. I take it back. You're not fat. Too late. Please, comrade. I just want to chop him up for the stew. And another thing. I am tired of stew. I want to put him in a nice fluffy cage. Cage? What kind of food is that for a monster to eat? Listen, do you think you could come back in half an hour? We'll have things sorted out by then. Why didn't you stop me? Why should I? You're the smart one. Ted, wait for me! Ted, come on! Ted, where are you? You gotta take me to see Thorn! I'm sorry, I called you to leave! Wait a minute. I hear water! 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 What am I gonna do? What if I can't find my cousins before it snows? They could be trapped here for the whole winter. I gotta get out of here. This forest is too weird for me. Case in point. Perfect! Now I just need one more good sized stick, and I'll have enough! Oh, Bone. Mr. Bone. Yoo hoo! Hello, Miss Possum. I haven't seen you in a couple of months. Oh, I don't get out much during the winter, especially not with the little ones. These can't be your kids. They're all grown up. Well, it's almost spring. They sprout up fast this time of year. You remember Phone Bone, right, boys? Sure, yeah. How you doing, guys? We're cool. Where'd you get that hat? Oh, your mom made it for me. Pretty dorky. Mom brought you some more blankets. Wow, thank you. I don't know how I would have made it through the winter without you, Miss Possum. Don't you worry about it. As long as you're stuck in our valley, I'll take care of you. Did you ever find those cousins of yours? No, not yet. Have you seen Ted since I talked to you last time? Nope. I don't know what bugs do during the winter, and I haven't seen wing nor antennae of Ted since the snow hit. Say, wasn't there someone else you wanted me to find? Ted was going to take me to see someone named Thorn. Oh, that's right. Nope. Haven't found a thing. Are you sure you have enough blankets? Yes, ma'am. Uh, but thanks anyway, Miss Possum. If there's anything I can do for you... As a matter of fact, I'm on my way over to Miss Hedgehog's place, and I was wondering if you could watch the kids for me. Oh, right. We're going to stay with Thorn. 
Me? But I don't know anything about baby possums. It'll just be for an hour or two. You boys be good now. Don't worry about us, Mom. Well, come on, guys. You can help me put the finishing touch on my house. Run inside where it's warm. I'll be there in a second. There we go. Cozy as an igloo. By the time this melts, it'll be string, and then I'm out of here. Hey guys, take it easy in there! What the heck was that? Holy cow, what are you trying to do? Kill each other? Come on, let's sit by the fireplace. I'll tell you a story. Aww, we were having fun. We don't want to hear a story. We want to play. He can't play with us. He don't know nothing about possums. He said so. Play with us, Mr. Bone. Yeah, come on. What do you want to play? What possums play best is dead. Look out, it's a possum eating bear! <gasps> I kind of like this game. <laughs> look at them, they look like little angels. I guess babysitting won't be so tough after all. <laughs> Here comes the bear! You better watch out, I'm gonna eat you up! Run! The bear is chasing us! Hey! Stay in the house! Come back here! <laughs> I'm serious! Quit fooling around, boys! Alright, they want me to catch them. I'll catch them, alright! Ha! Hiding in the bushes, are you? Well, Mr. Bear is getting hungry. Ah, now I'm gonna... Hi, guys. Long time no see. You don't say. Well, it was nice catching up. Thanks for watching the kids. Gotta go. <laughs> Quick, kids! Run home! I'll slow them down! Ouch! My ankle! <laughs> P, what the heck did you eat? That little dead thing we found under a bush. You had some, didn't you? I uh, guess. It was quite good. would have to be pretty stupid to chase me on this frail little branch. Stupid, stupid rat creatures! Ah! Ow! Yikes! This time I really hurt my ankle! What a shame. What do you say, comrade? Shall we have a nice hot stew? Or shall we eat him raw? Hmm. I see we need to get into a cage. You know how much I like. Seems to me you boys have a very short memory. <coughs> it's Dragon! <coughs> we were going to eat him, Mr. Dragon! We were only playing with him! Honest! Beat it. Hey! What are you doing? Hmm? You're just letting them get away? Do you... Uh, what they tried to do? They tried to eat the kids I was babysitting! Why didn't you do something? If I was a dragon, I would've blasted them with fire! What's the matter? Can't you breathe fire? Hmm... That's right, kid. Never play an ace if a two will do. Well, nice meeting you. But I better go find the kids. Whoa! Don't worry about the kids. They're safe. Head straight down the hill. It's a shortcut to Miss Possum's house. Oh, sure. Thanks. Hey, how'd you know I was watching Miss Possum's kids? Bone? There you are. We ran as fast as we could. Are you alright? Yay! He's safe! I'm okay. I had a little run in with a dragon. But the important thing is that we're all safe. A dragon? Really? Get out of town! See how he is with kids? It's not enough he chased off those bullies, but now he's made it a tail with a dragon in it. Isn't that precious? What was that? Oh, I'm sorry, Bone. Go ahead and tell the boys about the ferocious fire-breathing dragon. Yeah, tell us. Were you scared? Of course I was. What happened, Fungo? Did you kill the dragon? What happened to your hat? 
Did the dragon do it? Oh, he's pulling our tails. Everyone knows dragons are make-believe, aren't they? Now, now, that's enough questions. Uncle Bone must be really tired. Let's go home, where it's warm and safe. Then Bone can tell us all about his adventure. Maybe he'd like to stop and clean up first. Oh, yes, by all means. There's a nice hot spring just over the hill. Why don't you stop there and freshen up? Come on, boys. Say thank you to Uncle Bone. Thank you. Did he really see a dragon? Now, dear. Did too see a dragon? What did they think happened? I lit my head on fire to keep warm? And how come that dragon knew I was babysitting the possum kids? Is he following me? This place is too weird. First sight of spring and pow! I'm leaving through those mountains with or without my cousins. Huh? What was that? you phone bone my name is thorn thorn that's such a beautiful wait a minute you're thorn do you know a little bug named ted why yes i know ted he's a very good friend of mine yes hacha this is great i've been looking for you all winter you have why ted told me to find you he said you know everything well that does sound like ted Great! Then you can help me and my cousins get back to Boneville! Cousins? There are more of you? Yeah, they're stuck in the valley too, but I haven't seen either of them since we were attacked by locusts. What did I say? You know, I should have asked the dragon if he'd seen my cousins. Who? The dragon? Oh wait, now I get it. You don't believe in dragons, do you? No, should I? Never mind, I don't care. Once I'm back in Bongo, I'll never have to think about dragons or this crazy valley ever again. Listen, I would like to help. Well, come on, there's no time to lose. But I've never heard of Boneville. There's a village down the road called Barrel Haven. Does that help? What's wrong? Nothing. Bone Bone? I don't belong here. My home is on the other side of the mountains. I'm sure we can get through the mountains once the snow melts. It's not just that. Even if I could get through, I'd never find my way across the desert. You were my last hope. Well, let's focus on finding your cousins. Are you sure they're in the valley? Pretty sure, unless the rat creatures got them. Did you say rat creatures? Let me guess. You don't believe in rat creatures either. No, I do! Have you seen one recently? I saw two of them. The dragon chased them off. Now listen to me. This is important. You're not fooling around. You really saw two rat creatures. Yeah, I really saw a dragon too. What do you think this is, a tan? Hmm. Wipe that soot off your face. I think we need to go. Fine with me. Where are we going? I live with my grandmother in the woods. We'll go there. What about your bucket? Want me to fill it? Okay, just hurry. What's the big rush? They're not that scary. In fact, they're kind of dumb. Oh my, aren't you brave? I feel safer already. Give me your hand. Well, I don't mean to brag, but I... Don't just stand there, let's go. Oh, listen to the first birds of spring. We'll have you and your cousins back before you know it. Back? Back where? Wake up, sleepyhead. Mm, where am I? You're in Grandma Ben's house. Come on, I fixed you some cakes for breakfast. Cakes? 
you must have enjoyed your first night in the house after sleeping in the woods. You didn't even hear me when I came downstairs. Cakes? Here you go, and here's some tea. Oh, thank you. Are you awake yet, Phone Bone? It's me, Thorn. Thorn? Ah, oh, you're awake. Good. Now eat your breakfast. We've got a lot to do today. Grandma Ben is coming home, and I want to clean the place up before she gets here. She's coming home today? That's right. She goes into Barrel Haven every spring to show off her best racing cows. Your grandma races cows? Yeah, and she's pretty good, too. There's hardly a cow in the whole valley that can beat her in a hundred yard dash. Huh. I'm definitely looking forward to meeting her. In the spring, a big event happens. Some people bet their chickens, goats, and even their entire livestock on her. Grandma is really proud of her cows, so if you want to make a good first impression, be sure to compliment her on them. I'll try to remember that. Now that you're done eating, why don't we go get some water? Okay by me, let's go! If you finish the dishes, I'll go split some firewood. Hold on, Thorn! What is it? Where I'm from, what you just said is backwards. Chopping is a manly thing. Since I'm the man, I'll do it! Huh. What kind of manly thing do you call that? Gin up! Go do the dishes! Why don't we get firewood later? Uh, do you think your grandma will mind me stealing with you guys? I don't want to cause any problems. She won't mind. Grandma Ben wouldn't make you go back to the woods, especially with those rat creatures around. I hope not. Just do me one favor. When Grandma Ben gets here, try not to mention your dragon friend. Why not? Because dragons don't exist, that's why. What do you mean you believe in rat creatures? Why don't you believe in dragons? Well, everyone has seen rat creatures, but you're the only person who's seen a dragon. Unbelievable. Do you have dragons in Boneville? Of course not. Well? Well, we don't have big mouth drooling rat creatures either. Well, not unless you count phony. You know what else? I think that dragon is following me. Come on, Phone Bone. We've been through this a hundred times now. But I'm telling you, he had a goatee, a cigarette, and big floppy ears. Dragons are make-believe. You were just seeing things. Thanks for the support, Thorn. I bet the dragon wants you to think he's not real. Actually, I just want her to think you're nuts. Oh, shut up. Hey, come back with my bucket. Hey, Bone Bone, what are you doing? I'm coming, I'm coming. Say, what do you want me to do with this? Oh, that's my knapsack. I ran back to my place last night to get my books. You have books in here? Yeah, when we ran out of town, I packed some stuff to read. I love books. What is this? Just some comic books. I got those for Smiley. I've never seen this before. Really? That sucks. I brought some financial magazines for Phony. Did you bring anything for yourself? Sure. I brought Moby Dick. It's my favorite book. I've read it three times already. What's it about? Um, are you sure? Every time I tell people about it, they fall asleep. Try me. Okay. It's about a whaling voyage, and this guy Ishmael... <laughs> ha ha, very funny. What else do you have in here? Well, let's see. There's this blanket, and an old nap Smiley found. That's about it. I wish I brought some more food and water, though. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm not sure. Something about this map seems familiar. Really? Smiley found it before we got separated. It reminds me of a dream I used to have. <laughs> and you think my stories are weird. Are you okay? I'm fine. Come on. Grandma will be here soon. Oh, wait till I get my hands on that cousin of mine! I can't believe Foambone would just leave me out here, wandering around helpless and hungry! I'll bet he's back in Boneville right now, sitting in my house, eating my food! 
Hey, shut up! I just ate a stick an hour ago! What do you want from me? Huh. <sighs> what a travesty! The most cherished and respected! Not to mention wealthiest Bone and Boneville is now out in the woods! Fending off the elements with his bare hands! Forced to live out a miserable existence amidst the rocks and mud! Oh, cruel, cruel fate! Why have you abandoned your most beloved son? God, I pity me. Hey, you! Wake up! Hmm? The name's Phony Bone, the richest bone in Boneville. You've probably heard of me. I'm looking for a guy named Phone Bone. Have you seen him? Hey! Let's kick that pea-sized dinosaur brain into high gear, huh? Would it help if I ask you the question again? Slower? Have you seen Phone Bone a round? Maybe I better. It could be days before the message reaches this guy's brain. I'm going to take a few steps out of firing range, and I'll answer your questions. Oh yeah? And who are you? I'm Ted. I'm a bug. Spare me the details, friend. I'm looking for a guy named Bone Bone. You seen him? Bone? Oh yeah, I've seen him. You have? I'm saved! Where is he? Don't know. After it snowed, I haven't seen him since. Ha! A likely story, bug. Take me to your leader. Take you to my leader? Come on, come on, I ain't got all day! Hmm. Who should I take you to? I need answers, Bug. I demand satisfaction. I guess I could take you to Grandma Ben. Fine, fine, whatever. I got to warn you, she's an old lady, and she might not like your attitude much. Don't worry about me, Bug. There ain't a woman alive who can resist my charms. Okie dokie, I'm just warning you. Well, move it out, Bug! This is taking forever on those little legs of yours! Okie dokie! Hi, Grandma! How you doing? Why, hello there, Ted! Grandma, this guy's been asking to meet you. Oh, he looks like such a sweetheart. Would you like to ride one of my racing cows? No, I don't want to ride one of your stupid cows. Ted, dear, you better leave. I'm going to tear this little fella apart inside out. <gasps> yes, ma'am. See you around, pal. <laughs> Bone Bone. Like it? It's my favorite. Well, don't get too excited. This is for Grandma Ben. She just loves my special apple pie, and we want to make a real nice impression before we ask about you staying here. Whoa! What's happening? The whole cabin's shaking. It's Grandma. She's home. Your grandma's like a stampede! That's her, all right. She must be raising one of her cows. Look outside. That's her fastest cow coming across the clearing. No way! Here she comes! Come on, Grandma! She's gonna outrun the cow? She'll have a heart attack! Hey, do you see that? There's something whoa, on the whoa, cow! Hey, hey. Huh? Whoa, Where? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute! Stop. That's someone whoa, riding the cow! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, it's Phony! What's he doing? He's heading straight for us! He's out of control! Holy cow, let's get out of here! Grandma stuffed the cow by the tail! What happened to Phony? I think he's in the fireplace. Phony! Hurry, I think he's in the fireplace. Oh my stars, he'll ruin the dinner. Hang on, I'll get you out. Go, no, Bone! Save me, that crazy old lady tried to kill me! Well, bless my buttons, what do we have here? Watch out, don't let her get a hold of you. Hello, ma'am. Do you like cows? I know your friend doesn't. I don't like to ride him, you old bat! Bone Bone loves cows. Sorry, dear. You can't keep him. But Grandma... No buts. I don't want any pets running around the house. Grandma, they're not pets. Can you milk them? If you can't milk them, they're pets. Grandma! That's it? I'm out of here. Say, is that apple pie I smell? Yes! I baked one of my special pies just for you. You're such a sweetheart. Quick, while she's distracted. Hold it. Thorn thinks Grandma Ben can help us get back home. 
It's not worth it! Let go of me! Would you wait a minute? We can explain everything! Help! Help! They've destroyed my cousin's brain! Oh my god! They've already milked you, haven't they? Grandma, listen. These are bones. They come from a place called Boneville. And they need our help to get back. Where's Smiley? Smiley? I thought he was with you! You haven't seen him either? But I know he's in the valley. I found some of his cigar butts. The last time I saw that shout ahead, he was saying how cool it was that we were about to be pulverized by insects. Yeah, that's the last time I saw him too. Ah, quit your worrying. Why don't you introduce me to your good-looking friend here? Oh, Phony, this is Thorn. Thorn, this is Phony. So what have you been doing with my cousin? You two got a little thing going or what? Phony? No, huh? Figures. What'd you do? Bore her to death talking about Moby Dick? Grandma, I'm going to bed. You can keep them if you want, but they'll have to sleep in the barn. Good night, ma'am. It was nice meeting you. Phone Bone, can I talk to you for a moment? Outside? Yes! Well, go ahead! I ain't stopping you. This isn't going according to plan. Tell me, is your cousin always like this? Pretty much. Hmm. Grandma's going back to Barrelhaven in a few days for the Spring Festival. If we can keep those two calm until then, we can go into town and find your other cousin. Don't worry, I can handle Phony. Go back in the house and keep an eye on him. I have to go get some fresh water so Grandma can wash up. Okay, Phony. We need to get a couple of things straight. What are you doing? That pie was for Grandma Ben. Thorne's gonna kill us when she finds out. Um, what's the matter? You afraid of getting caught? Quit being a chicken! Bone, bone! Phony bone! You better not be eating that pie! <laughs> well, boys, I can see we're off to a good start. We haven't seen it! Honest! Phony! That's the second time in two days you spilled the milk. I can't help it, it's a disgusting way to get milk. It's how you get the milk. There's nothing disgusting about it. It's disgusting that I have to do it. I quit. Come on, a little honest work won't kill you. A little? That crazy old lady's running our butts off. Milk the cows. Feed the cows. Take care of the chickens. Grandma Ben has been feeding us and letting us stay in her barn. The least we can do is help. The barn stinks and it's drafty. If it wasn't for the food, I'd rather take my chances back out in the woods. We're gonna end up in the woods if you don't clean this up and get another bucket of milk. I should have known you wouldn't understand. You never had any real money. You don't know what it's like to lose everything. You don't know what it's like to be broke. I'm here, aren't I? Besides, you're not broke. Don't you still have a stack of cash? Only a couple thousand. Still, they do give me some comfort. Look, aren't they beautiful? Ah! They're getting wrinkled! I'm telling you, Phone Bone, I can't take much more of this! It's not much longer. As soon as we find Smiley, we'll get out of here. Until then, please try not to get us kicked out. All right, all right, cool your jets. I'll try not to cause any trouble. Good. I gotta go find Thorn. I promised to help her turn butter today. Yeah, yeah, stick some hay in my teeth and call me Goober. Cheer up, Phony. Breakfast will be ready soon. Morning, Bone. Morning, Grandma. Are you all set for our trip to Barrelhaven? I'm still packing. I seem to be missing a pair of bloomers. Have you or your cousin seen them? No, ma'am. Hmm. How are things going in the barn? Had any more trouble? Oh, no. Phony's getting milk right now. That's good. We've got a tough schedule ahead. Yes, ma'am. Thorne and I are going to churn butter and make some bread things. Oh, no. What's wrong? You don't want bread things? It's not about the bread, Bone. It's the gitchy feeling. It just hit me out of the blue. Gitchy? What's that? It's a terrible feeling that makes your head swim and your legs wobble. It's a powerful omen of bad things to come. There we go. It's starting to pass. Maybe whatever's going to happen won't be so bad. Are you okay? It's gone now, but the gitchy feeling is never wrong. You better keep an eye on that cousin of yours, you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Phony! Did you take Grandma Ben's bloomers? Yeah, I took them off the clothesline and nailed them up on the side of the barn. You did what? I kind of made a little hole in the wall and 
those were the biggest things I could find to cover it up. You're really pushing it, phony! You can't talk that way to me! I'm your cousin! The richest bone in Boneville! You were the richest bone in Boneville! And it was your greedy schemes that got us into this mess! Do you have to keep bringing that up?! So I got us run out of Boneville and a lynch mob chased us for two weeks! Jeez, one little mistake and I gotta hear about it the rest of my life! Maybe you'll think twice before you decide to build an orphanage on top of a wasteland, Phil! What is wrong with that?! That's two community services rolled into one! It was the ultimate tax shelter! Never learn, do you? I should have stuck with my first idea. Which one? Combining a slaughterhouse with a petting zoo? Oh yeah, that was a brilliant idea. Ah, what do you know? Can't you get through one day? Without causing trouble, we're going to town with Grandma tomorrow. What are we waiting for her for? Let's blow this popsicle stand now! Tomorrow's the first day of the Spring Fair. This will be our best shot at finding Smiley. Grandma told us people from all over were coming last week. I figured if Smiley's somewhere in the valley, he's bound to have heard about the cow race. You know how much he likes to bet on races. Oh, back up. You mean people actually bet money on that old bag to beat a cow in a foot race? I know, right? <laughs> it's crazy. But Thorne says it's a big deal here. Some people bet everything they have. Okay, phone bone, I'll be good. I positively guarantee you won't hear another peep out of me all day. Really? Now get off my back. Go churn butter with Thorne. I've got stuff to do. What are you up to, phony? Nothing. I said I wouldn't mess up your plan to go into town and look for Smiley, and I meant it. And I won't hear a peep out of you for the whole day. Right! Jeez, do you want it in writing? Do you have a piece of paper? I think I hear Thorn calling you. Really? Okay, phony. See you tonight! Yep, you won't hear a peep out of me, cause I ain't gonna be here! Fumbo won't mind if I borrow a few of his things. I might need them on my way to town. Sounds like a lot of money's gonna change hands tomorrow. And I don't see why Grandma Ben should hog it all. No siree, if there's book baker to be done, I'm the man to do it. Hey, Thorn. Where are we going? Down to the springs. You're going to love the festival, Phone Bone. We'll see jugglers, tumblers, and singers. Oh, and my favorite part, too, the booths. There are rows of booths where you can buy the most amazing things. They have honey, peacock feathers, and silk robes. I usually only get to look, but this year I'm going to buy a bottle of dye from the South so I can make a beautiful blue dress. Why don't we bring in buckets to carry the water? We're not getting water, silly. We're taking a bath. A bath? What kind of bath? You want to be clean for the festival, don't you? Come on! Would you bring me the soap? I left it in my pocket. Oh gosh, I, I've never done this before. Oh, don't be so nervous. You don't wear clothes anyway. Um, Bone Bone, could you be a little more careful with the soap? Huh? The <laughs> soap, silly. You just ate the whole bar! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. There was a path here a second ago! What happened to it? Why doesn't somebody build some roads in this place? Hmm, maybe I should look into that. I could build a toll road! Yeah! I can almost count those little coins calling out to me now. Hello, oh, Bone. Over here, in the tree! What are you kids doing hanging around here? Get a job! Oh, whoops! Sorry, mister! We thought you were somebody else! We thought you were Phone Bone! I'm his cousin! His cousin? Alright! Oh, you wanna play with us? We're waiting to hang by our tails! No thanks, I'm on my way to town. Hey mister, you know the way into town? Yeah, why? It's that way. Oh, uh, right. Thanks, kid. When I come back, I'll bring you a carrot. A carrot? What do you think we are, rabbits? What a dork. Lucky thing I ran into those kids. As soon as I'm back on the right path, I should get to Barrel Haven in no time. The first thing I gotta do is hit the local tavern and find out who's in town to bet on the race. Ah, oh, man! Something around here sure stinks! Jeez! <coughs> it's getting worse! Whoa! What the heck are those things? Uh-oh. Somebody's coming. Before I cry.
Wash your hands. King Doc. <sighs> King Doc. Sire, what are you doing here? May I kiss your feet? I wish I had some kiss I could offer you. Would you like some small dead thing we found under a bush? I was saving it for later, but you're more than welcome to. Quiet! I've had scouts looking for you too. <sighs> you have? Have fun. I'm fun. Aren't you? You two are starting to make me look bad! Kahuna'd want to summon you both to a high council tonight. Kahuna'd one? Has something happened? He has received word that the one we seek, the small bald creature with a star on its chest, has been seen in the valley. He has? <laughs> he was last seen in your territory! Come with me! Yes, I am right away. ready for tomorrow. I wish I could get over this gitchy feeling. Did you find a little squirt? No, and my boots and knapsack are gone too. I think Phony went to town without us. We looked all over but couldn't find him. We even went all the way to Old Man's Cave before it got dark. I'm sure we'll find him tomorrow. Hmm. I don't like it. There's a bad moon out tonight too. Run back to the barn and get your blanket. I think you better stay with us in the house tonight. Okay.
rat creatures were attacking. It's not a dream! It's really happening! No way. The rat creatures have the farm surrounded! We gotta go downstairs! Grandma's waiting for us! Grandma? What's going on? They have us surrounded. Hurry down here. Do you think we're safe? With all these lights burning? Maybe we should douse them. No! The lights are keeping these monsters back. If it was dark in here, the rats would have thought we were all asleep and we'd be dead. How many are there? Don't know. Here, Bone, take this. Oh man, I can hear them moving all around the house! Thorn, dear, bring me a poker from the fireplace and you better put some shoes on. Do you have a plan, Grandma? I have an idea that might work. Okay, children, this is what we're going to do. When I say run, you run. Got it? What? That's your plan? Run where? Ready? Here we go. Okay, kids, run. Uh, uh, now, Bone. We can't just leave you here. Come on, Phone Bone. Don't worry about me. I brought these rats back in the war. Oh, my ha. gosh. Oh, my gosh. Ha. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> about grandma now? There's too many. She didn't know the woods were full of monsters. Ah! Ah! Hey! I'm sorry. It was a reflex. Run faster! Bartender, bring me a beer! What's everybody staring at? Jeez, you act like you've never seen a guy order a beer before! Bartender, where's my- <laughs> Smiley? Is that you? Howdy, howdy, howdy! It is you! Thank goodness I found you! You mean it, Pony? You're happy to see me? Darn right! Phone Bone wouldn't let me leave this stupid valley unless I found you first. Aw, shucks. It's good to see you too, cuz. This calls for a toast. Let me buy you a drink, old buddy. Okay by me, old pal. Here's to going home. The Boneville. To Boneville. <sighs> what do you say we have another round on you, old friend? Sure, why not? I got a feeling my luck's about to change. Guess where Phone Bone is right now. He's with Grandma Ben. You know, the old lady that races cows. Ah, you're in town for the cow race. Me too. There's gonna be some heavy betting going on. So I've heard. Is anybody doing the bookmaking? Not yet, but from what I've picked up, your friend Grandma is the odds on favorite. Great, perfect. How much time do we have? One week. Excellent. I got an idea that'll make us a lot of money. Uh-oh. I hope this isn't going to be one of those silly ideas you used to pull back in Boneville. What? What are you talking about? What silly ideas? Remember the first time you got us run out of town? You opened up a chain of franchises. Bone Environmental, Nuclear Reactor, and Endless Salad Bars. That wasn't a silly idea. The lettuce wouldn't spoil for decades. Well, it was pretty silly. Oh yeah, you're a brilliant judge. Now, where are we going to find a cow suit? What? I get to wear a cow suit? Cool! 
Have another beer, partner. Keep it down, you cornhead. I don't want anybody to know we're together. Oh, right. Gotcha. Oh, no. Not another one. You better be able to pay for those beers, Shorty. Dum de dum da da. Don't worry, I'll pretend I don't know you. Hum de dum dum de da da dum. A doo doo. That's five bucks of my best ale. A doo doo doo. You owe me two eggs, and I want it now. A doo doo. Relax, King Kong. I'm good for it. Just like this other idiot was good for it. Oh my! Look at these dirty glasses. I've had it up to here with you drifters, coming into town for the festival, trying to get beer on credit. Quit breathing in my cup. It's my cup, until you pay me the two eggs you owe me. Jeez, what a hothead. Here, take it. What's this? It's two eggs, pal. What, the price go up? Okay, shorty. Get in the kitchen. You can work off your bar tab. What? Hey! Nobody mutilates a mint known around me and lives to tell about it! Say your prayers, Chuckles! They don't use money here, cuz. They never even seen it before. Come again? They trade goods and services. It's a barter system. Chuckles wants real eggs. <laughs> your butt is mine, Baldy! Smiley, why did you keep giving me beer? You know I don't carry dairy products! Uh-oh, uh, looks like I missed some of the dirty glasses. They're circling us! What do you want? We want the small creature. You can't have him! Go away! Give him to us. Defiance won't be tolerated when we bring back order to the valley. Stay back! Wait a minute. Do you smell that? It's brimstone. That means the dragon's here. Oh no. Relax, Thorn. Everything's gonna be okay. Bone Bone, what are you doing? I know you don't believe in dragons, but these guys do. Watch this. Okay, fellas, party's over. The dragon will be here any minute now, and you don't want to be around when he does. Whenever these guys hear the dragon, they run like their fur's on fire. <laughs> You're still here? Go on, shoo! I smell nothing. What are you talking about? Don't you smell brimstone? No. <laughs> That's weird. I don't smell it anymore either. <laughs> Why look, Ted? It's a meeting of the new community leaders. Ooh, a town meeting! Do we get to vote? You know I just love to vote! Stay back, worm! Our numbers are too great! Funny you say that. How many warriors did you have between here and the waterfall? A thousand? Two thousand? Hiya, Bo! Hey, Tony! Come over here! I believe this violates our agreement. You wouldn't be so bold if King Doc were here. You would run and tell King Doc I'm watching you. We're not afraid of you. We? Who's we? Comrades, kill the track. <laughs> he did it! Yes! I told you there was a dragon! I told you! Mr. Dragon? Hmm? The rat creatures attacked our farm. We left my grandmother there alone. Climb on my back. Come on, Phone Bone! Oh my gosh! Hold tight. Wait! Stop! We're too late. I can't believe it! They destroyed the farm! Let me down! Wait! I know it looks bad, but we need to be careful. We're not going to help your grandmother by rushing out in the open. We need to make sure there aren't any rat creatures around. They might be watching. I don't care! Grandma! Wait for me, Daddy! I'll go with you! Come on! Grandma! Can you hear me? Grandma Ben? Where are you?
Thorn. Is that you, dear? I'm glad you're safe. Grandma, are you alright? Of course I'm okay, dear. I used to fight those rats back in the big war. I wasn't really in danger. When you and Bone left the house, they pretty much gave up. I was more worried about you. We almost got caught, but the dragon saved us. Look, Grandma, a real dragon! I can see. Hello, dragon. Hello, Rose. It's been a while. Yep. Well, it looks like everything is under control here. I guess I'll be going. Yep. Come on, Ted. What are you doing, Grandma? That dragon saved us. Not now. Bone and I need to have a little chat. And we still need to get ready for the spring fair. The fair? You're still worried about your race? What about Phony and Smiley? We still have to find them! Bone and I will hitch up the cart. Would you put out the fire that's on the roof? She's not even listening to us! Can you believe she still wants to go to the fair? Are you kidding? I'm still surprised she has a first name. Honey, I'm not a complete nincompoop. We'll be safer in town. And with any luck, we'll be able to find his cousins. But please, Thorn, we have to go. We don't know if they're safe. All right, I'll go take care of the roof. We packed everything last night, so the luggage should be ready in the barn. Come join us when you're done. Come with me, Bone. Grandma, what was that between you and the dragon? Do you guys know each other? I'll be asking the questions. I want to know why these monsters were after you, and I want the truth. I have no idea. I've never done anything to them. Honest. What about your cousin? Do you think Phony had dealings with them? No, ma'am. We don't have rat creatures in Boneville. In fact, we never even heard of rat creatures before we got chased out of Boneville. <sighs> well, I wasn't chased out. Phony was. Smiley and I just helped him get away. What did he do? Phony wanted to run for mayor. This was his campaign slogan. <clears throat> and I've got money to do it too. So that's why he got chased out of time. Serves him right. No, anybody can run for mayor, even Phony. That greedy little loudmouth. He couldn't pull that stunt in my town. Well, he can in Boneville. Anyway, he wanted to make a big social event and decided to throw a picnic down on the banks of the Rolling Bone River. There's a beautiful park there with green sloping lawns and the stretch to the edge of the water. It's far enough away from the city so there wouldn't be any distractions. Phony invited everyone in town and promised free food for anyone who showed up. Pretty soon the picnic was the talk of the town. Then the big day arrived and the whole town showed up. Kids were playing under the trees, and the ladies were all wearing sunbonnets and fancy dresses. The picnic was off to a perfect start! At the park, there's a statue of our town's founder, Big Johnson Bone. And since he's our ancestor, Phony wanted to make his announcement in front of that statue. Just to add to the excitement, Phony had a 50-foot tall balloon of himself tied to Big Johnson! Everything was going great! Folks were listening to the firehouse band and just enjoying the sunshine. The food was passed around too. There were plenty of prune tarts for everyone. Prune tarts? Yeah, phony being phony, he got a deal on cheap prunes from a discount broker. Of course! But anyway, that's when he makes his announcement. He gets up and declares his candidacy for mayor of Boneville. Is that when they chased you out of town? That's when a gust of wind blew and pulled the balloon away. The force was so strong the statue came off with it. All of a sudden this giant inflatable phony bone started attacking the people. It was terrible. My first grade teacher, Miss Crabbone, was the first to panic. She started running and screaming, but the balloon chased her all the way into the river before Smiley and I could let the air out. It was awful. Everyone was stunned. At first, Nobody moved. They just sat there with a look of horror on their faces. Is that when they chased you out of town? No. That's when the bad prunes kicked in. Uh, 
face smiley. Take that tub of glasses back to your buddy. We're out of mugs again. Yes, sir, Mr. Down. Hey there, phony. Lucius says you gotta wash these pronto. We got a lot of thirsty customers up front. Of course, I make sure everybody gets a new clean mug with each drink. Yeah, I noticed. I just want you to know, I've been working on the plan. I've been spreading rumors all day that Grandma Ben is too old to win the race this year. Is anybody buying it? I'm the bartender. They gotta believe me. This is too easy. We'll cover all the bets, then when Grandma wins, we'll be rich! Of course, when Grandma gets into town, everybody's gonna see she's perfectly fit. I've got that covered with Phase 2, the Mystery Cow. A cow that will build up in everybody's imagination that can't be beat. Wait, is that the part where I get to wear the cow suit? Oh, joy! Yeah, that's the part, but you're gonna throw the race. Remember, we want Grandma Ben to win! Well, naturally, I'm looking forward to wearing a cow suit, but what do you get out of it? After all, the locals don't use money. They trade goods and services. It does sour my plans for amassing a huge fortune and returning to Boneville in triumph. Still, the play is the thing. If all these yokels have are poultry products, then I'll take it! Besides, I have a hankering to take the proprietor of this fine establishment to the cleaners. You with me? Sure, it doesn't make any difference to me, but then not much does. Good. Now get back out there and keep spreading rumors. And quit bringing me dirty dishes to wash! Fonsible P. Bone. Huh? At last I found you. Who, me? How do you know my name? You should be grateful your friends interfered last night. I'm forced to use much more subtle methods of contacting you. What the heck are you talking about? Your cousin has awakened the great red dragon. For this, I will kill him. Whoa, wait a minute, pal. You leave Phone Bone alone. What do you care for, friends? All that matters to you is personal gain. I'm warning you, don't come any closer. I have wasted enough time on you as it is. I even jeopardize my own plans. But we have unfinished business, you and I. Yeah? Like what? Your son. Sorry, cuz, but Lucius says you gotta wash these. Ha <laughs> Uh-oh. So there he is, okay? Ishmael, laying in his bunk waiting for his mysterious new roommate to show up. Then all of a sudden, his door swings open with Queequeg standing in the doorway, and he's carrying shrunken heads! What's going on back here? Oh, hello, Thorn. Are you talking about Moby Dick again? It just so happens that Grandma likes to hear about good books. She appreciates fine literature. Hey, Grandma, wake up. Are we there yet? Not quite, but I wanted to wake you up. Is something wrong? The road is blocked up ahead. There are some trees down across the path. Stop the cows. There's a man where the block is. Do you see? Well, I'll be. It's John Oakes. Let's see what he's up to. Good morning, John. What in the world are you doing? Why are these trees blocking the road? Good day, Grandma Ben. Lucius had us block the road. There were some strange doings in the woods last night. The hairy men were out. Yes, we saw them. May we pass? Oh, yes, ma'am. Come around the end here. Hello, Miss Thorne. Hello, John. Good luck with the race, Grandma. Everyone's betting on you. Thank you, dear. Hey, Thorne. Yes, Phone Bone? I want to thank you for staying with me last night. I don't know why those rat creatures were after me, but they would have gotten me for sure if it weren't for you. Of course we're stuck together. We're friends, aren't we? Okay, children, hurry down here. 
Well, well. It's about time. Hello, Lucius. How you doing, Rosie? Was the road safe? I was worried about you. The road was clear apart from your roadblock. Oh, I got something for you. Here. I've been saving it in my pocket all day. Aren't you sweet? Well, I had a little extra time on my hands this morning. I got a couple of deadbeats inside, taking care of the customers. In fact, they look a lot like this little fella you got here. They do? Yo, foe bone! Smiley bone! Yay, my little pal is safe! Oh my gosh, I was so worried about you! Aw, oh, heck. I can take care of myself. I'm big, but just small. And you didn't have anybody to look after you. Hold me so I can look at you! Do I look good? You look good, man. Where's Boney? He's right inside. I'll call him out. Now, just a minute. I don't want everybody out here. Who will take care of the customers? The boys owe me a lot of eggs, Rosie. Oh, let them go, Lucius. These boys haven't seen each other in months. Oh, all right. Call him out. But then get back to work. Thanks, you big luck. Hey, Bony, come on out. Bone Bone's here. Bone Bone. <laughs> it's good to see you again. <laughs> Hey, Phony! Come on out! Phone Bone's here! So, once again, small one, your friends have come to you. But make no mistake, we will complete our transaction. You have been spared. For now, Fonsible P. Bone. 